Welcome back, Nissan Motors. It's your girl, Julia Nice, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and turn your post notifications on. In today's video, I will be showing you. Um, in today's video, I'll be showing you the basics on how to play softball. First things first, grab a ball and you go. So this is a softball ball. It's usually jello and it's usually this big. Uh, as you can see, it has lines around it, just like a baseball ball. So to grab it, how you're gonna grab the softball is you're gonna use three fingers in oh, hell no. instead of two, three, three fingers. You're gonna, if you see the line over here, you're gonna grab it and put three fingers by the line, just like that. And your front, your thumb is in the front and your pinky is under it, just like that. Okay, <clears throat> next, on the other hand, we have the glove. Um, this one is with, it's made for the, uh, what is that, the index finger? Yeah, index finger to come out through it, and you squeeze to catch the ball. Um, okay, to throw, you as, after you grab it, you're gonna make sure to pull your, your hand back. Your hands back your hands kind of pretty much be aligned with your with your ear a little bit behind that so right there see and grab ball stretch your arm like that like you're about to tag or throw throw it at somebody pretty much you always got to extend your arm when you throw it like that <laughs> It's all the power is always gonna be in the wrist. The wrist is what has the power. So you're gonna flick, you're gonna flick the wrist on your way there. Look at this is where you release. So you're gonna grab your, your ball. Put it by your ear and throw. Flick the wrist at the end. Just like that. To catch ground balls, what you're gonna do is put, get down in your like a squat position. This is the position you're always gonna use in softball when you're at the field. And you're gonna squat, and put your glove down in front of you. And then you put it in. Make sure it's all the way in the ground. Because if you leave it halfway up, that ball can come in any moment and you won't have time to, to catch it. So, roll in the ground, squat, roll. I mean, long, long in the ground. Okay? Always stay in front of the ball. So, like, if the ball is over here, try to get shuffle. Shuffle to always be in front of the ball. Next is, um... Fly balls. Fly balls, you're always gonna get your hand up. It's like you're covering your face from the sun. And make sure that when the ball comes your way, you're gonna squeeze, gonna squeeze the glove once you catch it. So like, like this way. Let me show you guys. This way. Cause you wanna secure that ball. You don't want that ball to come off. Cause it can bounce off your glove, if all. Or like when you're trying to bring, bring your ball, I mean, when you're trying to bring your glove down, it like, like you see, it will fall. So you gotta make sure it like snatch it. Cause as soon as you get that ball, you wanna be able to throw it to the to whatever base um the run is running to. So you get it, squeeze and throw. Okay, so throw, squeeze, and be ready to throw. Okay. If you're too far from the base, or if it's a long throw, like such, if you're in the outfield and you gotta throw all the way home, make sure you always take a step before you throw. So like, shuffle and then throw. All right. So you're gonna grab, pop, and throw. Grab, pop, and throw. Wow, the cage's been here all this time. Take a step forward when you're throwing. You're not gonna sit here and be like. Do we do backwards for two hours? No, that's not gonna happen. You can't just throw your ball 
like that and that's it you think that's just gonna get there you gotta make sure you bring your whole body with it so you're gonna oh um, what you call it you're gonna step and throw step you're gonna grab step and throw for me it is helpful to bring my knee up as i'm throwing it just helps me you don't necessarily have to you can just like that but i personally it helps me to you know lift my leg up as i'm throwing um you always so for aiming you always want to aim to the chest this is a perfect spot for everybody to catch the ball this is the best way to throw a straight ball just try to aim for the chest and when you're throwing you don't want to look at the ball as you're throwing it you're not gonna be like like no you got the glove of the opposite person you're, of the person you're throwing to so like this is the glove this is the person and i'm looking at the glove as i throw that's how you're gonna be able to get it into that person. So if you're looking at the sky and you're trying to throw, that's where the ball is gonna go. You're gonna, um, okay, like I said, you can always, it's best to stay in front of the ball. It's easier to catch this way. You know what you're doing. Um, the ball doesn't have to go behind you and you have to look for it and waste time and have the runners stealing bases basically. So what can, if you don't have time to shuffle or anything, you can always reach for the ball like that. The ball's on the right, put your glove in, Twist your arm, catch, catch, Ugh, sorry, catch front. So let's say the ball is coming this way. You see, the ball is coming this way. Low, backhanded. Okay. And if a ball is very low, you don't want to catch it like this. Like unless you're you're a catcher or you're over there. All the way over here yeah but if you're just um squatting or you're standing up and you don't have time don't go like this all the way to the floor you're gonna you're gonna flip the glove and you're gonna catch it this way you're gonna catch it this way okay so for now i'll show you guys some of the basics also with a partner so you guys can see take a look at it and just direct regular direct so all right, so ready position. I'm gonna grab it, three fingers on the ball, remember? And step and throw. <laughs> Make sure you squeeze the glove when you're catching them fly. Step and throw. Balls, how's it gonna do? Oh, don't wait for the ball to come to you when it's a ground ball. If you want to get you want to get to the ball faster to be able to throw it faster to whatever basement is supposed to go to so make sure you always go for the ball and don't wait for the ball to come to you go so run step and throw back up a little bit so you can yeah see. i noticed ready position cat step and throw sure that you step back and your body's angled like that way running back because you want to if you give your back to the ball you're not going to be able to know where that ball is going to go so you want to always angle your body to be able to look at the ball and run through it. see i squish the glove and i make sure i run back and i'm gonna step and throw to second since it's right there you don't want to make a big throw that is not necessary 
you gotta throw underhand a little flick of the fret of the wrist and right there so this is what you're gonna do you're gonna flick it it's nice and easy you don't have to go anything crazy Thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and if you want to see any more videos about softball and more advice please um let me know down in the comments thank you for watching <laughs>